Hey guys, this is David from CoderIsland.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a simple application in Visual C Sharp. So, uh, to start, open Microsoft Visual Studio or Visual C Sharp Express if you don't have it. If you don't have it, you can go Google it to download it. Open Internet Explorer, search Visual C Sharp Express, press enter and uh, you'll find it that, uh, on the Microsoft's website for download. Once you download it, install it and come back here to follow the tutorial. So, to start, make a new project by clicking the new project icon in the left side of the screen. Select it uh, Visual C Sharp Windows Forms application template so we will do a Windows Forms application. Uh, give it a name. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a simple calculator. So name it Calculator. And press OK. Now, once you create the project, uh, this is what you have. This is the main form. This is the window that will appear when you open the application. Uh, if this is the first time in Visual Studio, let me explain you how it works. On the left side you have your toolbox. You have here all, sort of the, all sorts of controls that you can add them to your form. For example a button, uh, labels, progress bars, radio buttons, all sorts of controls that you can add them to your application right here. Uh, on the right you have your solution explorer. What is this? Uh, in here you can see all the files that you have in, in your project. And the properties window that you're probably not seeing if you just installed it. So to see it, go to view, properties window. Uh, where is it? Or you can press F4. So since we'll be making a calculator, you'll need a few controls. For example, a text box, three text boxes actually. So, select the text box control from the toolbox and drag it to your form. Drag three text boxes to your form. And a button. <coughs> now, what is that for? We'll use the first and the second text box to place values in it. We'll click the button and uh, the sum of the two values will appear in the third text box. Uh, the user won't know what to do in this application, so we will add a few labels because this will help the user guide himself in the application. Add three labels, just like I am doing. Select the first one and see, instead of showing value 1, or this thing you're supposed to type in the first text box, uh, it shows label 1. We need to change that from here. So click on label 1. Go to the Properties panel and go to its text property right here, see? Select it and change it to Value 1 and click Enter, see? It, change, it automatically changed into form when you press Enter. Or you can type in, in please insert the first value. It's exactly the same thing. You can do the same for the second label. Please insert the second value and you select the third label and change it to result. That's because the third text box will show the result of these two values. Also, you can change the text property of the button too. Let's change it to add. So this is how you modify a control in Visual C Sharp. You select it and you change here its properties. You can even change its size. For example, look at the button. Click it and go to its properties. You have here size. That's 114 by 30. And if you modify it, you'll make it bigger or smaller. See? Let's test our application. To do that, press the debug button on the toolbox. It's the green arrow. And this is what you got. This is our form, our application. So let's try inserting some values to see how it works. 23, 12. 
and we press add and nothing happens because we haven't coded the application to do something so go back to Visual Studio and double click the button when you double click the button the forms code will open this is the source code of your application uh, a part of the source code because this is not all the source code this is only the part of code that is executed on this form uh, what you type between these two brackets here will occur when you double click the button so let's start with a small example for, for example let's try um, close the application when you click the button to do that type close right here and uh, try your application again run it let's see what happens when you, cl when you click the button see we click the button and uh, the application closed what we want to do is uh, take the values from the first two text boxes and uh, set the third text box to show their sum to do that first we need to declare two variables type after me double val1 comma val2 we need to assign to the both to both variables the value of the text boxes to do that val1 equals that means we assign to this variable double dot parse we are using double dot parse because uh, we need to convert the string from the text box to a double so double dot parse text box one dot text and close the parentheses why what did we do we took the text from the parentheses actually the text property of the first text box and we convert it to a double and we assign it to the first variable value 1 we'll do the same thing with the second value val2 equals double dot parse text box 2 dot text and now we will add them declare a new variable result double result equals val1 plus val2 so by now we successfully successfully added our two variables but uh, our result won't appear on the form because we haven't set, tell, told the program to do that so to set the text of the third text box to the show the result type text box tree that text equals result this is the result variable dot to string we typed result dot to string because result was a double type variable and uh, the text boxes text is a string variable so we can design a double to a string so we had to convert it to a string now let's hear how our application is working debug it insert a value for example 2 into the first text box insert another value 3 and click the button yay so it worked 2 plus 3 equals 5 this was David from coderisland.com check out our forums if you have any questions bye bye